There was this uh, Sunday school teacher who was discussing this with her class of second graders, and she asked the class, now she said, if I were to sell my house and give all that money to the church, would that get me into heaven? And in unison, the whole class goes, no. Well, then the teacher said, well, what if I were to be really kind to animals and really love my husband and my children? Would that get me into heaven? And again, the kids go, no. Well, then she said, well, how about if I volunteer all my time and do all the work around the church for free? Would that get me into heaven? No, the children said. Well, then how do I get into heaven, she asked. And a little boy blurted out, you got to be dead. (laughs) Now, that wasn't quite the answer that the teacher was looking for, but there is some truth to it. St. Paul said that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And I think it was Ben Franklin who said there are two things in life that we can be certain of, and it's death and taxes. But of course, we don't need Ben Franklin to remind us of that. We all know from our own human experience the reality of death is all around us. But Easter... Easter is about living. St. Paul said, thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And I've always loved the story of the three men who are going to be recognized for their civic achievements in their community. But before the award presentation, they were asked, they said, the mayor told them, now you all have distinguished yourselves in our community. And now... Before we present your awards, what would you like to hear people say about you at your funeral years from now? And so the first guy got up and he said, well, at my funeral, I'd like to hear people say that I was a successful businessman. I was a leader in this community and I supported all our local charities. Everyone applauded and he sat down. The second guy got up and he said, well, at my funeral, I'd like to hear people say that I was a faithful and loving husband to my wife. I was an active father in my children's lives, a helping neighbor to our friends and our neighbors. Everyone applauded, and he sat down. The next guy got up, and he said, well, at my funeral, at my funeral, I'd like to hear people say, look, he's moving. Last Sunday, we had just a terrific Easter celebration here at Our Savior. How many were here last Sunday? Hey, amen. It was great. You know, Christ's resurrection from the dead is the cornerstone of our Christian faith. Look what uh, St. Paul wrote to the Corinthians. If Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile, and you are still in your sins, then those who have fallen asleep in Christ are lost. If only for this life we have hope in Christ, we are of all people most to be pitied. But Christ indeed has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Christ indeed has been raised from the dead. And Christ's victory over death in the grave is very significant because his victory is over sin and death and hell and Satan. And his victory is our victory. (laughs) 